I just wanted to spray down the stage yeah. right now. So we're doing all of our sanitation. Oh, yes, our COVID uh, precautions. So, um, hi, Jesse. Hi, Jason. <laughs> Jesse hasn't gotten her hair cut, and she was pulling <laughs> out for us so we could so we could cut her hair. Um, tell me about your hair. Like, what do we? Um, let's see. What do you want to get from today? Are well, we... I want to continue growing the top okay. out. So I really I just want to maintain the, the neckline and nape because I've got quite a bit of growth down here. I have very dark hair, so it's very noticeable. Um, so um, Jessie's a stylist, so she's talking to us in stylist terms, <laughs> which is great. Um, um, my neck hair is really long, so I want to get that long. off. <laughs> um, so you do want to grow at the top? Yeah. Like how long? Um, I don't know, probably like pixie long, like okay, keep cute. the sides and the back short, but just kind of have some length to play with on top. Cool. So I can kind of continue the color and have it fun and funky. Cute. Yeah, the color looks great. I so love the color. it's almost like she looks mint. You have some natural grow out. She mm -hmm. went completely blonde. Yeah, I went completely blonde and then I let the um, roots, I guess you would say, grow out and yeah. then keep the, the tips blonde and just cast camera. <laughs> so her color well first we did a shampoo cap just to break up some of the patchiness she had uh just with some 30 volume and then we used pulperite color and used a bit of lemon some aquamarine and cupid just to mute it down without uh compromising the color just to adjust the tone a little bit cool yeah it looks good and i like that it looks like neat <laughs> yeah it's real like I need to fade some of, some of it. I think it'll look cool with her dark for sure. So I just grabbed thickening cream. Um, the reason I grabbed this is I really love it. Not to actually add like density to her hair or anything. It's just going to take the puff out of the hair when I blow dry it. So it's really lightweight. It's lotion-y. I like that it comes out of the squeeze tube versus the hand in the puff mm -hmm. right now. Especially with sanitation and stuff. Um, I've been liking that. The packaging does really well. For us, people really like it um, on the shelf and in the salon, which is really cool. Um, I think it's beautiful. I like that it's white and it kind of pops. So I'm going to just put some of this thickening cream all over in Jesse's hair. And I'm going to blow it in and try to see, like, with short hair like this, it's like you can see what the hair wants you to kind of do. It's almost like wood grain. You know, there's going to be a lot of patterns in there. So we're going to work with like Jessie's head shape and the way her hair grows to create a cute little shape while she's growing her hair out. So Jessie, do you, if the top is like softer or I can share with you maybe some product knowledge on taking different products to create different looks mm -hmm. so that way you can have some variety when you're growing sure. your hair out, that would yeah. be cool. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, but I do have some questions about the size when, we, when we're cutting them. Mm -hmm. Is it cool if we have like the top is soft, but I fade this pretty low, so yeah. that way it there's some contrast between the top. I, I love a good contrast. Okay, so cool. I like dramatic. Sweet. So, yeah. so it'll be a little bit of a, a harder look on this the side. This totally fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm kind of up for. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get her dry. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Is the the sound go, going well? If, if you guys can hear me, just give Cassie a thumbs up so let me know. Yeah, this is a nice, like, green. Thanks, guys. Thank you. A nice, like, like an emerald. Yeah, like a green. It's a very jewel tone. Yeah. Kind of. So check this double world colic out back here. Um, well, did you just shave your your <laughs> for it? Yeah, okay, it. cool. <laughs> so we're seeing a lot of that right now. You know, like people are shaving their heads. Um, and what we're gonna do is just get this stuff to to lay. Which really, I think it's gonna all depend on like the product you yeah. using the right product because we don't we want to continue to let it grow. So when you do blow dry, I would suggest doing like some swirls on the back to kind of get those double colics to like lay down Behave. or just to even enhance them. So that way, if you put in like, say that the matte control cream is more of like a, 
textured look. Okay. And then you can just work it in one of these and then it'll stand up. So on days that you want it to look a little more like textured and PC, I would exaggerate the fact that that colic is kind of... Work with it. Yeah, work yeah. with it instead of against it. So we'll start out by just kind of air forming the hair and let the hair live how it would lay naturally because then we can see what we can do. I always really enjoy cutting hair, short hair, especially dry, so I can see that wood grain and the texture come out. I can see the growth patterns. I can, as I'm drying it, I'm assessing the hair too, to like see what happens in different areas, like the colic and the nape and how the hair grows. So there's a lot going on in my mind right now. I'm thinking, wow, what technical skills <laughs> I need to do? Like what? What am I going to do to her hair technically? And then also what recommendations can I make so she can, you know, recreate a good look from home. So what I like about short hair the most is that you can have multiple looks with just changing your styling product. So we can have one haircut, right? And you can wear it different ways and even having like little to no hair like I think it's going to be fun mm -hmm. to share the different kind of look that we can get out of um, so yeah. you'd be surprised with what you can do with short hair like this even you know it's fun sometimes you'll come <coughs> in with it like more up or mm -hmm. parted to the side or, like mm -hmm. really down and flat and this looks really classic yeah it's cute because just changing like the finish of your product from say matte to shiny it's a completely different look which is cool um that's why you know having a full line of like different types of products um at your disposal is helpful so i think today we're going to use the matte control cream which will give you that textured lived in look and then maybe we'll play with some gel and like cool. make some some waves some, yeah a little movement in there um i think that would be good i All think right. that sounds awesome cool um so less is going to be more we want to grow this out so you can tell that that uh, that thickening lotion just kind of like laid everything down so you can see kind of the hair a little bit more i really just want to taper her uh temple area and then I'll clean up behind the ears with my trimmers. And then I'm going to taper the nape and maybe we'll do a little design in there. Cool. Oh, I like your tattoo there. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that'll be great. Yeah, I really like how this looks neat. I, like I, it it's, neat? I, I think it's worth I love it. I personally love it. <laughs> I might be biased, that. but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I always use my clippers. These are the um, the hundred year walls. If you got them, you're lucky because it was a limited edition. Um, but they're set. But I always have like two or three because um, I like to work with cordless. And sanitation wise, we want to make sure that you know we always have one ready to go. So even over there, I have my trimmer, um, multiple pairs. So one's always sanitizing, and one is ready. I have multiple guards set up because I want to make sure that, you know, things are clean, um, but also that I, I have a backup because constantly, you know, dropping stuff or there's something in the barber side. Um, so I, whenever I begin, I always use um, a two or down to a zero. If I'm going to clipper anything over a guard of two, I usually just scissor over comb. It's just my preference. Um, I'll find it easiest. So what we're going to do today is literally, I just want to share with you what works for me. And I know that there's a million ways to get the end result. So, you know, even in the comments, share like, oh, I do that. Or, hey, I do this too. So we could turn this into, you know, a nice discussion and learning environment for you guys watching, because there's tons of ways to do and create anything. And that's, Another reason I like short hair is because I get to use all my tools. I get to use my shears, I get to use my razor, my trimmer, um, 
my eye, you know, mm-hmm. there's like a lot of, it's just, it's more like sculpting than it is, um, long hair to me feels more like a game of pool, you know, like point line and angle, very, what do you call it, uh, geometry, <laughs> <laughs> which I did not do well in, by the way, um, way better in art class. So Jesse, I'm going to have you unhook and just hold your your masky bits over your face for me. So I have a number two on there, and I'm going to uh, close it. So the lever goes up to close. So it's true two. True two. True two. <laughs> I always like to put my finger there, you know, just in case. But these are the premium clips, which are nice. They have the little pop on there, so they stay a little extra good, that little metal tab. Um, these are the premium ones that are available on the wall website compared to the you know, the colored plastic ones, these ones just stay on a bit better, but out of habit, I, I always put my finger there. Um, wallpro.com, if you guys go online and check it out, what's cool about the 1919 line is that you can become a reseller. So you direct from distributors, so we don't have to order from a third party. I literally go online, I place my order, and then it ships for free in like two days it comes. Um, so partnering with Wall, it's what's cool is that it, it allows me to like buy direct, you know, from one business to the other. There's no third party, which is cool. Um, and then they're more supportive with us as far as like the proceeds of the sales. Part of the proceeds from the sales goes to Fade It Forward, which is a program for young people who want to go to barber school, who are, I would say, like less privileged than some folks. And what Wall does is they give away scholarships with the money that they, the sales from the 1919, which is really pretty amazing. Um, so far, I think they've sent like four people from Chicago and now they're going into other cities like St. Louis and I think Cleveland and stuff. Um, so it's, it's just like they're, they're giving back and I think that's amazing and it's a great time to, to, um, give and then you know have be in that state of abundance and flow so it feels good to um when i am sharing the products with a guest to tell them about the program because it it does mean something you know it's like it's not just like here this this is some great hair gel it's like this is actually benefiting our industry it's it's providing education to the future barbers and the future of our 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 industry so I'm going to let this, um, if you could get from the side this way, yeah. cool. what's going to happen is Jesse's head shape is going to push the clipper off. So sometimes you're like, oh, where do I start? Where do I stop? You know, um, you can actually feel her head shape. Like the clippers are going to just come off exactly where the comb would leave the head. So if you can come from this angle, I think you'll kind of see it a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So the clipper would come off, you know, here, right where that comb is leaving the head. So it's a, a minor change in direction. So there's, they're called planes of the head. Remember that from school? Mm-hmm. Flat one inch sections all over the head. So the clipper literally just comes off the head. You can actually even, I know this seems dangerous, but close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and feel, let the head shape push the clipper away. So wherever it's happening, you can do a slight little rock and help that transition be a bit softer, which is cool. So what we do on one side, we're gonna do on the other. So I always like to look in the mirror and then turn, and then I'll turn her so I can see in the mirror what I've already created on one side. So that way when I'm working on this side, would you switch sides for me? Um, Jesse, with your mm-hmm. mask. There's full participation here mm-hmm. from the guests now. I'm like, okay, one side and the other. Everyone's involved. <laughs> <laughs> so the mirror, I can see what I'm doing in the mirror from one side to the other. And what's cool about um, that is that I always have you know, an eye on the other side of the head, so I'm not like <laughs> doing the dance, you know what I mean? So I'm letting, yes. although it is entertaining <laughs> to watch, mm-hmm. to be on the other side of it. 
I'm letting uh, Jesse's head shape, push the clippers off. So before you get started, it would be a good idea to make sure you feel for balance. You know, because some people do, that she might have like a bridal ridge that sticks out further one side or the other. So making sure that you feel and check for balance too, and then allow the head shape to kind of push your clippers off. So this is a two right where that major change in direction is. I'll start to rock to soften that line. And I don't want to go, um, I want to keep it nice and full behind the ear. So I'll push you back and I'm going to check for balance the whole time or along the way. So I'll go using my mirror instead of doing a little dance. Man, this color does look good, huh? <laughs> good job, Cal. Thanks. Uh-huh. Um, so, this is just the number two. What I'm going to do is work my way down, you guys. I'm going to work my way down from a two to a... I don't know yet. Guess we'll see. Play it. Yeah. Do you have a recommend, like a preference? Do you want to be like skinned in front of the ear? Do you still want to? I've never ear? been skinned in front of the ear. You can, you can do a skin. It probably would look pretty cool. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Yeah, what, what do you yeah. guys want to see? Yeah, if you have any suggestions, again, feel free to interact in the comments. Any questions you guys might have? Any advice for other stylists? Okay. <laughs> so I'll pick up behind the ear, or I'll like my line that comes from in front of the ear on a diagonal will pick up behind the ear. So I'll taper to here. So what will happen again, same thing, where the comb leaves the head, which is about here, the clipper will just naturally come off the head if I allow it to. Oh good, the phone's ringing. That's good, guys. That means business. <laughs> so I hope that y'all are pre-booking your appointments this month in December so we're all guaranteed a successful uh, first quarter of next year. Yes, please. You know, it's uh, January and February and COVID time. So right now in December, hopefully everybody's coming in to get their holiday haircuts. Um, and you guys are pre-booking them, you know, because we want to be smart about our business and make sure that, you know, we're set up for success. And part of that, here's my line, part of that is pre-booking. Pre-booking, um, what else, guys? Yeah, pre-booking, referrals. Referrals. You guys want to ask for referrals, ask for reviews online, like anything that is going to help our business out. We have great monthly promotions too, that always helps out. And suggesting retail by having a monthly promotion, thanks Jesse, mm -hmm. is a huge win for our business. I mean, there's only so many <coughs> haircuts that we can do in a day, like, um, I, I can't cut any more hair, I love cutting hair. But like physically and mentally, like I don't know if I can. <laughs> way better, you know, for my oh one hundred percent health and standing and mental health and just everything. If I can also bring in another revenue stream through either additional services um, or retail sales, gift cards as well is one oh, thing yes. that we definitely yeah. push, and it really helped us out when we were closed for three months earlier in the year. Support was people, your yeah. <laughs> Pre, almost prepaying for those appointments, so we still have that uh, revenue coming in. Uh, do you have any advice for people that are a bit afraid of using clippers? Any, anything to kind of uh, ease that intro into clippers? Um, so yes, what I'm doing now is I like to work long to short. So I started with my higher, highest guard, it's almost like a safety net. Like if I just go in and I skin it and go in with a zero, it's gonna be really hard for me to go from a two to a zero in this tiny spot, or even if I had her whole head to use. Um, I like to work down, so I'll go from a two, and sure, I'm cutting this hair multiple times, but it's guaranteeing a little bit. Um, oh, you can't put hair back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not at this length. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Um, and I would invest in 
most standard clippers, you know, they'll come with the one, two, three, four. But getting your one and a half guard and your half guard that sits perfectly in between. Because sometimes I'll try to fade with a two and a one and then open the one up to create a one and a half and I just can't get that blend. So if I have the one and a half mm -hmm. and I open it, it's almost like a 1.75. So it's just that slight in between you need to, it makes a difference, such a huge difference. So I'm gonna go in now, I went from a two, I'm gonna go in with a one and a half, I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna just go right below that line. Um, I would also suggest getting uh, comfortable with the rocking motion and how you're holding your clipper. So you really, you know, they're, they have these little nice indents and really getting, uh, it's like the flick of the wrist. Just so when you practice just doing that. When you're in these tiny areas, flicking the wrist, when you're trying to take up a lot more hair, it's more of your... Everything's a hinge. Yeah, uh, your elbow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> your elbow, you know? So um, really getting, and I would find the model and keep cutting their hair um, over and over and so you can get used to their hair their head shape and feel the clippers coming off their head and they'll get you their haircut every four weeks so then you can get to see your work become better and better and better on the same canvas so practice 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 um, so this is a one and a half so I'm just not gonna go as high as the two so I'm gonna come all the way down and what you're doing I like to think of it as a clock so this would be 12 o'clock and then one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, also known as uh, vertical, diagonal, right? Horizontal. So those are the motions that you go from 12 to three, and then you go from- And this is an uncomfortable, so like, don't worry about the clients not hurting their head. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, good. At least for me. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, client comfort's a, it's a big deal, so. But I know sometimes I get worried about my client and like make, making sure they're comfortable and this doesn't hurt so well also like when jesse jesse just finished our apprenticeship she's a new stylist so congratulate jesse mm -hmm. <laughs> so um there was a lot i think you did like some mm -hmm. one-handed stuff mm -hmm. so big takeaway was to kind of hold your yeah. canvas and, and be real grounded. Be in control. Be in control of your body position, working right in front of your section was huge. Um, what else? Um, yeah, just making sure like you're not too far away, your your leg, your feet are just hip width apart, so you have that good stance, you're not hurting your back, um, and just practice. Like, And it was nice like having Jamie and Cass coming over and kind of just watching and um, yeah, it, it's just, it's nice to learn in an environment where you're actually learning and not being judged or, um, and whatnot. Cool. Thanks, Jesse. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at Logan Parlor, we really want to collaborate and not, um, compete. If we compete, we want to compete together, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we do do a lot of collaboration, uh, which is really fun especially when we have bigger projects when another set of hands is helpful, you know, like doing a mid-back balayage. It's always fun to have mm -hmm. a partner. Makes <laughs> things a lot easier. <laughs> What's great about this craft is you're constantly learning and constantly evolving. Um, that's why they call it a craft. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you popping out the wisdom. <laughs> All right, so that was a one, and I'm just slowly working my way down. Now this is the half guard that sometimes you don't get, um, but this is, this would be known as like an open to some, would be like the half guard and then the zero, you know? So the half, like if you open it, you get just that little bit more, which is really gonna get in there and allow you to get um, a little bit tighter. So I fade my way down because then I never have this hard line I have to erase. Sure, it would be faster maybe to go in. I, I'm not even sure. I think it would take me longer to try to erase a line you know, um, but everyone to each their own, you know, um, you can go in that way or you can go in this way. And what you said about getting the same model, you can try it that way. And if it doesn't work, I mean, hopefully that person will be like, oh, whatever, just do anything in my hair. And that person will just be your, your guide on next time. 
like cut it different one way and then the next time do it a different way. So now I'll take this off. I'm gonna stretch the skin and I'm gonna do that same little flick of the wrist rocking motion and I'm not gonna go up high. I just am trying to fade this little line out here. Cut, 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 cut. And then we can go down to zero. Zero, 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 zero. And then I'll grab my trimmers, which are right behind you, Cassie. Excuse my reach. And flip, 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 flip with those trimmers. These are awesome. The Detailer LIs, oh my God, they're my favorite. They're super lightweight and you could just draw with them. They're amazing. So I've really been enjoying that. So we're gonna come in, I'm gonna use my comb. I'm gonna notch this stuff out of there. Clean up behind your little ear here. <laughs> I could come in, do a little over trimmer over comb for that little blend. Your comb you know, controls the length. So get that little blend in there. How's that looking through the camera, Cassie? It's looking good. Cool. So we're gonna come in, look, check your work in the mirror, come back around. And then pick up again behind the ear where you left off. So let's throw in a little design here real quick. I'm gonna come around, around this side. For the group. And uh, what we'll do is, let's see how you can, what we did was with the two, you can kind of like see patterns in the hair. Can you see that through the camera? A little bit, yeah. Just some differentiations in color. Yeah, so like work with that, you know? So I would take that and I would, so I try to, I move the head around too, because I could see like different, even the light patterns in the room kind of create different things. So like I could see where I can kind of go in. Those do cut really clean lines. Oh my That's God, so that's nice. So good. I feel, I feel wow. Like I'm that makes sense. And is that like zero gap at all? Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, I used to work with the peanut first. Yeah. And then go back in with this because the peanut kind of just draws cuts less in of a yeah. harder line so you can kind of practice more. Um, so I'll come in. Do use the corners almost like a pencil. So now I'm going to come in this way. What do you think we should finish her with? I think the gel. I think that'd be cool. Especially with how like the color sits, just really play with showing up the textures and really bringing all those different tones out. So let's go ahead and clean up. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be so happy. Oh, no more neck hair. So excited. <laughs> so even just doing a little design like this and then exactly what we did here on the temple area to like fade up. We can fade up into this the same exact way. I'm gonna double this line. And again, you're kind of just making this design up as you go. Yeah, just based on where the light's hitting, just kind of hitting. drawing out what you see in the hair. Exactly. And just, yeah, it develops kind of over time. I'm just, I always like to draw one line and then draw another line and then double it up. So go right underneath to try to make it almost. Uh, it makes it more visually interesting, interesting for than one. Just one line. Right? Yeah. And it's kind of nice to have that creative control over it as well. I'm sure. It's almost like it makes it like 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Especially once you kind of fade in there a little bit, it just and it takes more it from to look being at the line to actually being the hair mm -hmm. with the design, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think we should fade that too. Yeah. And then throw a little gel in there and kind of comb 
I'm gonna grab a one. I'm gonna open it up. When you're shooting, like wanting to take pictures of your work, um, what I learned for, from working and shooting for Naha is if this is the angle we want to shoot, um, just for time's sake, like I'm not going to even finish this side of her ad. I'll do it later when we're off, off the video, but I'll do exactly what I did on this side to the other side. And when I know I'm going to shoot for either Instagram or competing or whatnot, it's like, and I know I want this angle. Don't even worry about over here because you're, it's a two dimensional. Uh, it's a two dimensional image you have to make look three dimensional. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is really make sure that this stuff all is like looking right. And what I mean by looking right is usually I'll come and like take a look through the camera and make sure that I'm seeing what I like. Because yeah. when I'm staring at it like this, it's real hard to get that. Again, it's, it's making a 3D image into a 2D image that still looks like a 3D image. Always thinking two steps ahead. So for a photo ready finish, oh, I'm like, what do I do with my little half turn? This is still on the other guy. So I'll just use that. I'm going to come in and I just want to finish and clean this up. So all the hair is growing in this direction. So if I can't get it, I need to come in the opposite direction. So against the grain. Against the grain. I'll flip my clippers over. Trim, 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 trim. Kind of get this stuff worked out. I got her head turned and I'm like in there. You guys, this stuff takes a minute, you yeah, know? Yeah, don't rush it. You can't rush these little tiny details, especially if you want like that polished, finished look. You know, you really want to make sure that you give yourself some time. Um, I book out for my short haircuts, 45 minutes to an hour, and I, you know, face charge based on length and time versus gender. So no men's cut, women's cut. It's just a haircut, um, and that allows creative freedom too because no one's tied to a certain look which is cool. So you can totally customize things based on uh, whatever you want to create. So I see a little inconsistency there. So I'm just going to take my just a pair of uh, blenders. And I'm just gonna do it by hand. I'm not even gonna use my comb. I'm just gonna use my comb to comb. I'm just gonna soften that little line. How's she look in the camera? Good, I had to twist her head a little bit to, to see it a bit more. Cool. So, I'm gonna take a step back. Cute. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Let's wear some gel in there. That's a nice side profile. Does it look good? Yeah. Cool. Um, so, sperm hold gel, sperm hold gel. Um, first, I'm going to get a little tiny bit, a little bit of moisture going close. Just a little. I'm going to get out just some gel. I'm going to use a lot because... A little will do nothing, you know. <laughs> like we gotta teach our guests that too. Sometimes they're like, "Oh, you use that much?" I'm like, "Yeah. How much do you use?" They're like, "Oh, way less than enough that. to make it last." <laughs> <laughs> and then I feel so bad because then they're like, "Well, you know, this doesn't work or whatever." I'm like, "Actually, it might be a user error. Mm -hmm. Why don't we try to use a little bit more?" So we really do. We, if we're gonna use something in someone's hair, we need to teach them exactly how to use it, like how much to put in. So Jesse, I'm gonna put it in your hair. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Not just on the surface, okay. but literally like in. Massage it through. Inside, yeah, you want even saturation, you could give them a little like love along the way. But um, why I wanted to use gel, I wanted to see if we could create like some cool shapes inside 
So let's see the top of your head really quick. Got those collars. Those double collars. <laughs> We're going to control, comb those babies in, into shape. And then let's just go back and forth with our comb. Try to create some like little zigzag just to add some visual interest to our photo. Yes? Mm -hmm. cool. Almost like doing finger waves. Mm -hmm. But way easier. But low, significantly way easier. easier. You guys remember that week? So now you can pop them under the dryer to dry with gel, like depending on how long the length is. But just play with their comb and make different shapes in there. That week in school when we had to learn how to do finger waves. I cried. I don't think about that week. <laughs> oh Block God. that one from my I memory. Totally <laughs> I, cried too. I, think, I think that was everyone's cry week. Um, but yeah, if you could get good at those, it's so fun. So this is just an easy approach. And like, you see all that movement, it looks really cool. So um, let's shoot it, yeah? Yeah. So I'll finish the other side later, but this is what I want to capture. And then I'll push your little uh, widow's peaky bit no, kind of no, up. No, peak. And then yeah, you're just looking for um, what I would call like balance and consistency. So Jesse, come on over. One moment, let me get you clean here. We're gonna go over, we just have our uh, ring light set up. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and smooth and clean. We've got that stronghold gel in there. We're just going to set our shape. So, Jesse, come on over here. Right. I'm just going to grab my phone. Take some. Oh, you know what? I don't have any storage. You can use mine. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just realized I'm like, our phone is being used for the live. <laughs> portrait already. Cool. So, just throw on portrait mode. I'm going to have you turn to your side. Yeah, actually. Let's have you see. Definitely take your time in taking pictures to get the shot. Nothing's worse than taking five or six pictures and realizing none of them are good. So I always like to look through the, through the lens and then I like to move my light around to find the best shot. Oh, I like that texture. <laughs> hey, Jesse, tilt your head a little towards me so I can kind of see the top of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, man, that's it. Does that look good? Yeah. So I would take that shot, and then, Jesse, if you, let me see, um, show me the, if you can, the back. Yeah, awesome. So I would get, move my light around until I'm getting what I want lit up. Turn towards back me a, a little bit, yeah, and then... That's tilt. nice. Yeah, so that is good. Sometimes having a helper makes this part a bit easier, too, especially if I you do need... Because I have the camera need... and the light in my hand, like, who's going to press the button? <laughs> <laughs> Can you get it? Yeah. <laughs> tilt the top of your head towards me more? Yeah, so we want to see that texture in there on the top. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, so that's fun. So we'll send the... Um, We'll post the end results as soon as I fade up the other side of her head so she can mm -hmm. actually go out into the world. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we're going to send you home with uh, three things that I used. The first thing was the, um, that thickening styling cream, which is going to be really nice on days that you don't want to have anything like hard hold in your hair. It's just going to be real soft. Um, <laughs> it's going to be really soft for you and take the puff out, so on days that you don't really want to feel like you have gel in your hair, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna send you home with gel, so that way you can create those shapes on those textures. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then one more product, which is a matte product, which is unlike the other two. Which is my favorite. Is it? I love matte. Why? So I just, the I finish? Yeah, the finish. Cool, so then she'll have three different like looks with one haircut. Yeah. So, let's give it up for our model, Jesse. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> So give it up for our American Salon fans. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, go to wallpro.com. Um, 
you can figure out at the top right of the page, figure out how to become a retail partner um, and start fading it forward and helping out the future of the barbers with the 1919 line. So thanks again, guys. You have a good day. All right. Bye.